And so for the uh, total nerve block of the forehead and the temple, you have to address the auricotemporal nerve, which starts from here and gets compressed right above the TMJ. Does that hurt you there? No. Right there, yes. Okay. And also where it crosses the uh, temporal, anterior branch of the temporal artery, approximately 10 centimeters from the midline, and this is usually at the hairline. Does that hurt you there? Uh, a little, right there, yes. Okay. The zygomatic or temporal branch of the trigeminal nerve exits 1.7 centimeters lateral and six centimeters, six millimeters above the lateral cantus, and that's a little tubercle there, and usually you don't have point tenderness in that area, but you want to give it sort of a diffuse injection right where that tubercle is going to be. The supraorbital, which is usually tender, and the supratrochlear need to be addressed individually. I don't mark these in advance. Ice always helps. And I start with all my injections in the forehead are 27 gauge long needles. Alternatively, you can use a 30 gauge to start on the brow if the patient has a lot of tenderness. This is mixed half and half with lidocaine without epinephrine and marking injection. First, we're gonna start with the auricotemporal nerves. I don't typically aspirate, but I know I'm close to the, the, the vessel, so I would like to move my needle. Uh, this is a more of a superficial injection. And after I'm done with a superficial injection, I do a little bit deeper injection, approximately one to two cc's in the auricotemporal area. Distal and the more proximal one above the TMJ, also about one to two centimeters. Zygomatic temporal branch is injected right where that tubercle is, lateral to that. This is a superficial injection. But afterwards, I go deep to the deep temporal fascia and I inject the muscle as well. This is approximately two to three centimeters of injection. The superorbital supertrochlears, I first address them by pinching the brow and in a, in a, sorry, in a deep subcutaneous Sorry. tissue, and you do a slow injection, especially when patients have tenderness. And I do a fairly large volume, approximately three to four cc's, when I start injecting the, the eyebrow. Again, deep subcutaneous injection. I do the injection on this side, and I let this sit for a couple minutes. And you want to extend this medially because you want to catch the supratrochlear nerve complexes. After you let this sit, I feel where the supraorbital foramen or notch is protecting the eye. I exactly feel where the rim is. And I use my long needle to go right above that. I feel the bone and I walk it down until it gives away. But I want to stay on top of bone as low as possible try to capture that nerve. I deposit one to two cc's there, right on the bone where the supraorbital nerve exits. And similar thing here, by occluding the vessel first and putting my thumb on the rim, I control where the border between the eye and the rim is, and I inject this right on bone where the supratrochlear nerve exits. the same move on this side, a little bit lower.